here are the parts and pieces of this Camco Sway Control. Um, along with that, I have the tools laid out that I'm going to be using. Drill bit, series of drill bits, ending in 11 30 seconds, a couple of sockets, 9 16 and this one's 15 16 It's um, pretty much all you'll need. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is on our hitch, mount this little ball. It fits on one of the ears of the hitch. You can put it on either side. I've chosen this side. There's a lock washer, and then there's a 15 16 nut. So you really have to get it tight enough. And this is where a press a uh, press wrench comes in here too. It'll hold this ball still. Well, it's where it does. Now I can put the finishing touches. I'm using a torque wrench here, which, you, you know, is optional. You don't have to. Just want to make sure it stays on there. I get it up to pretty much 100 foot pounds. I'm going to install this, uh, show you how to, how to install a, a Camco Sway Control, um, the ball that fits on the trailer tongue. Now, I had already done this, but when I did it originally, you want to measure 24 inches from the center of the ball to where the ball is, the center of the, uh, uh, the ball on the uh, sway control, then mark it, um, yeah, then put this in place here, and drill this one hole at a time is the best way, using a series of drill, ta drill bits, uh, finishing with 11 30 seconds, um, and then get the first one in there, and then mark the other, mark another one, get that in there, of course, center punch it, drill it in stages, and then one by one you can do the rest. Once once it's in place and level, then you can just um, mark and then drill the other ones. But once it's done, then it's simply a matter of mounting it. These are self-tapping type screws. That's it, torque them down um, with the ratchet. Okay, we're going to mount this uh, sway control onto our camper. Here it is, camper sway control. First, we see this one on the ball here. Here. Now we're going to use our clips, which simply slide into a couple of holes. And they're in there. Get the thing two holes that really get this through. It's in there. Now it's just a matter of cranking it down. Basically, we tell it's seated all the way down right there. It's going to keep you from going all over the road, moving all over the road when a semi blows by you. And I used it for uh, an extended trip this past winter. I can see a huge difference in stability with the, with the trailer and with the sway control. Just a couple things I want to mention about this control now. This can happen under a couple of different conditions. If you tighten it down too tight, um, that it doesn't have enough replay. Or if you operate it in reverse, you can also damage it. Um, whenever you're backing up, I always take off the sway control. Um, these are about 20 bucks. If you have to replace them, and they're readily available, so it's not a huge deal. But if you want to prevent the extra work and expense, just don't tighten it too much.